Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at how to set up Windows Media Player to work as a DLNA server for serving media around your home. So that means on another device, a phone or a Android phone or an Xbox or a Windows Media Player on another Windows PC, you'll be able to access all the content stored on your PC with running Windows Media Player. So you're setting it up as a server, basically. It's, it's really simple. It's one of the things that we include in our new book, Entertainment Apps on the Go Windows 10, available on Amazon. And topics like this and many more are in this book. So that and many more uh, tips and tricks for working with media on your Windows 10 device are including the book. And I thought this is the fit. I'll do a video to go along with the book and uh, I'll do some more videos showing you other topics in the books like set up media servers, iTunes and podcasts. Anyway, let's get straight on with this. Let's get Media Player set up working as a DLNA server. So here I've got my Surface Pro 3 running Windows 10 and this is Windows Media Player. You'll, just go to, you'll find it in the apps or programs and this is a couple of little tips to get this up and running. There's a couple of different screens you'll see depending on whether you're part of home group. Home group is the Windows 10 sharing system and also you should be on a private network in Windows so when you first join a network it asks you whether you want to share your connection with other devices on the network. Uh, you say yes that makes it onto a private network if you say no it puts it on a public network. The way you can quickly tell is if you go down here to network and you can see devices on here then um, I'm in, a pub, uh, in the private mode if you get a little yellow bar across the top that says uh, network browsing disabled then you can tap on that and turn that on and change the network over to uh, private mode uh, that's one of the tips that's included in the book and uh, I've also got a link to that on the uh, digitallifestyle.com Anyway, so I'm on a, a network where I can see all these devices on here. So I go to Windows Media Player, go to Stream, and the option there is automatically allow devices to play my media. So I say yes. So turn on media streaming. And that's enabled now. It's that simple. That's just doing stuff. One option sets it all up. If you're not part of a home group, the only option you would see there is turn on media streaming, which is now enabled as more media streaming options. So you can control which devices get access. So this is another device on network. I could block that from here, or by default, it's enabled. So here you can see on my other device the at the Encore 8, there is my Surface Pro. I'll tap on there, and if I go to music, let's go to all music. You see, it remotely connects to the server, or to the PC, and all that music is available there for playing. And I can also look at the videos. I can't remember if I've got any videos on here, but I'll quick check. Um, yeah, we have got some videos and pictures. You don't just have to use this um, Windows Media Player on Windows 10, you could be, like I said earlier, on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, uh, the Xbox One, anything that supports DLNA or UPnP where you can browse for a remote server, it always has to be on your home network and that will bring the, the content in, so it's a nice easy way of um, getting access to content from another device on uh, any of your devices. So that's using DLNA and Windows Media Player. There's a lot more stuff available in our book and a lot more tips on setting up media servers and video and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, that's the first one for now. Thanks for watching.